Shakespeare's head, also known as the John Carter House, was used for many different things such as the printing press, but new research shows that it may actually have connections to slavery. Over time, there have been in documents um, uh, references to this building being part of the Underground Railroad. Marissa Brown, executive director of Providence Preservation Society, says the three-story historical house was used as not only a home for John Carter, a printer and publisher for the Providence Gazette, but it was also home to a printing press, boarding house, and a shop. Perhaps the biggest and most recent development over the last few years is the building's connection to slavery. Documents show two areas in the basement that were most likely used as slave pits. These are the two places on that 1936 um, plan that have the text that says probable slave pits. With much of the interior of the home in its original state and not a lot of information as to what each room's purpose was, the building's history still has a lot left to discover. And that's why Marissa Brown says the sale of Shakespeare's head has been paused. To be honest, people who have known this building um, knew parts of it, but it felt like there was a lot more to this history that was really uh, worth and sort of we were responsible in investigating before we proceed further. There are some parts of the building that are known, such as the upstairs and the basement walls being in their original state. Brown says back in the 1700s, the second and third floor of the Shakespeare head were used for residential purposes. Above the third floor is an attic with a small door and a wooden ladder. It's possible that that's where the slaves were housed. Further investigations will determine if things such as the floorboards and support beams are all original. Now, Brown says an architectural historian will be visiting in the coming weeks to comb through the building to find any traces of slavery. In Providence, Stephen Machagrano, 12 News.